What is up, everybody? Check it out. Uh, I'm going to try a little experiment here with my new team uh, here at Gas Monkey. And, uh, you know, we've got a good group now. Uh, some of them have been here for a while. Uh, a couple of heads have been replaced and a couple of new ones have come in. So uh, what's really cool about uh, this little challenge is I'm going to give these guys some time, leave them to their own devices. Instead of me kind of ogring over them and coming in all the time and messing with them, I am going to be watching, though. And I am going to be paying attention. So this is a little thing, drum roll please, that I call Pinto Mania, Pinto Outlaws, Pinto, I don't know, I have it, but it's just a battle of the Pintos. I will come up with a catchy name phrase and style for these videos pretty quickly. But the name of the game is, is I'm going to uh, spin the wheel of death or flip a coin or do something. And I have four guys. There's going to be two per team. We don't know who those teams are yet. And they're each gonna get the Pinto. They're gonna have to battle it out then for the choice of Pintos. And then the real games begin. They can use anything in the shop. They can use any of the stuff around here. They have a real menial budget because we have enough to build these cars here, period. It's probably laying back there on the warehouse shelves or it's out in the junkyard or whatever. And uh, they are going to only have five days. I'm expecting these cars to work and to function uh, to be able to go down the, the track and uh, race against each other and uh, also to have a little bit of style and creativity. I want to see that, you know, left to their own devices, they can come up with something pretty cool. Now, as far as I'm concerned, both these cars are pretty damn cool as they sit, but, you know, I come from that generation. This ought to be fun. All right, guys, so listen up. Here is the rules. Number one, it has to be street legal. Number two, you have to stay with 302 engines that we have. Number three, I need a roll cage for safety because I don't know if you dudes can drive. Number four, no boost. We're not trying to blow these cars up. We're trying to have some fun and then sell them. And number five, let's stay with the leaf springs in the rear because that will be fun also. So get you some of that and those are the rules. So by the outstanding luck, of a flip of the coin, Jason got to decide his partner and went with Josh, which allowed Fifth Star the opportunity to pick the car, and he picked the yellow Pinto. So now we got Fifth Star and Kenny in the yellow Pinto, and Josh and Jason on the blue Pinto. Now let's go check in on the teams. All right, teams J and J for Jason and Josh, or a whole lot of other explanatives I could think of. What have you come up with for our blue baby here? We've been back and forth about the scoop. So this is a build-off with a competition at the end, and y'all are worried about the scoop. You said everything. Well, I know, but I mean, can we get to the, the, the soups and nuts of it instead of the scoops and idiocy? <laughs> we talked about making this one kind of, honestly, kind of goofy looking. It's a Pinto. It's, I mean, the origin of building this thing like a hot rod. So big wing, skirt blowers. I mean, if we have time, chunk of cam in it to get a little bit more lopey than what it already is. Thank you, Joe Dirt. Thank you, Joe Dirt. Joe Pierte. He said Dirte. Joe Dirte. Joe Dirte. <laughs> what I find odd is that I come to see what you're talking about from the competition, and y'all are more worried about aesthetics. So I can go through the engine and shit. <laughs> That's what I'm talking We're about. We're a little worried about fuel capacity, because maybe, depending on what track we go to, maybe this makes it, or maybe we run out of fuel, because the fuel, the fuel cell's a little bit small. In here? It's a little guy in the trunk. It's a little guy. Uh, well, is the real tank back there? No. Uh, interesting. No. Um, okay, well, um, you know, you've got some sweet ass butterfly seat covers. <laughs> Since you're going for aesthetics, maybe you keep those. Definitely need to do some strain, like frame strengthening, and that'll come with the cage when it comes in. You went with picking your teammate first, and you got stuck with this one. Do you like this one? Do you hate this one? I'd rather have this one. This is the one I'd rather have. Really? works out. Yeah. Listen, yeah, nice. if we are racing Pintos, this is it. This is what I picture a Pinto. That car is taken too serious for a freaking Pinto to be raced. It's a race Pinto. Yeah, yeah, but who it's a it's a fucking Pinto. Dude, I've seen Pintos that whoop your ass. I mean, this this is true. We're going to make one. All right. Well, I wish you luck. I got to go talk to uh Team Fifth Star.
First of all, uh, are you guys happy with your pick? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I like it. I like. I like it better now. So now you've had a chance to look it over. We don't know what we have as far as the motor. So what's the plan? You got to yank that out and you got to go yeah. with another 302. Well, this well, this was never. One of the rules was 302, so yeah, I took that 460 out. And this was never hooked up. Okay, so you got to yank all that out. Put in the 302 we have back there because we do have one or two of them. Yeah. You got a sweet ass color combination, yellow and green. You gonna do anything aesthetically to it? I aesthetically it's pretty hard, but we can go down to Pet Boys and find something. That's his deal. Mine's more handing him tools. At the end of the day, I think this is the more serious race car. I think it actually yeah, has yeah, been yeah. raced. I think this was like set up to look it, like it a race has, car. It has lead weights in the back. Oh, I saw those. See, you guys really did look at the car. But you got a roll cage that's integrated in. You got a, a you, you know your front cage around the motor there. It's got a hell of a rear end set up. You have two steps. Yeah, this is what I noticed, these two cars. Okay, this one, if you look at it, somebody took a good car and made it a race car. That one, somebody took a crap and turned it into. Yeah, but those guys are already talking shit about how they're going to do better than y'all. Let me, I got to remind everybody that's in this competition. There's nothing wrong with second place. Well, yes, there is. That's called first loser. No. It's first something. It's first yeah. something. There's no personal best ribbon in this, Phipps. What do we win? I haven't decided yet. I got to see right. how hard you actually play. I got to tell you, at uh, first inclination, uh, you guys seem a little more serious about the actual car working and doing what it needs to do. Yeah, These guys were talking about what they were going to do with the hood scoop and their butterfly uh, seat covers. So uh, if you get serious, I personally think the cars have their each their own. They, they both have sure. pluses sure. and minuses. Sure. So um, get after it, do it right, do it fast. And remember, five rules. And there may be more, or there may be less. Thank Get after it. Have fun. All right. Thanks. Yes, so here we go. This is it. They've selected the team. They selected their cars. This is the first ever battle of the Pinto Outlaw Street. What? I don't even know, but I'll come up with it. So how are you guys feeling? It's going good. Good. Right on. You happy with your team? Happy with your cars? Well, I'm happy with this one than that right there. Four. Your guys worried more about pretty and paint. Huh? Yeah. Huh? How many bolts are holding the front sheet metal onto your car there? Enough. You yeah. to keep it together? Uh -huh. I see okay. you having to pick your fender up to put That's your hood right. down. How's your butterfly seats? <laughs> huh? How's them seats? You got your rules, you picked your cars, you kind of picked your teammates, and uh, here you are, you're ready to rock, you got the full access to the garage. I'm going to be on vacation, but I'm going to be watching from my little camera there, and uh, all I got to say is, gentlemen, start your builds. Oh, by the way! No. JJ and Fip Star and Kenny is not a very good team name, so I want new team names uh, texted to me by end of day. So this ought to be interesting. I got some guys that were much more worried about aesthetics and what they were going to do with their hood scoop and this and that. And then I got another team that was really taking a look at what they were going to have to do to make the car run. Uh, one guy was like, I can fit in this car, I can't fit in the other one, that's why we picked it. And I think the cars are pretty evenly matched. Uh, and I think right now the teams are fairly evenly matched, uh, believe it or not. So uh, this is going to be a pretty cool competition. Me, I'm going to go to the beach, me hanging out, watching on my peanut gallery uh, camera that you guys are going to set up for me. And uh, if I see any shenanigans, I'm going to call them. If I see any stupidity, I'm going to call them. Uh, which means I'm not going to, I'm not going to enjoy my vacation at all. I'm going to be on the phone. Uh, I say first off, let's, let's take this thing around the block. Just shake, you know, shake it down, and then when we come back in, we'll get on the lift, get out of their way. You boys need help pushing your car? Yeah. Um, we don't need call, you call the other guys for it. We don't need your stinking Let's now. get this hood down. First, we gotta get this 460 out of here, get that 302. Gotta go look for it, freshen it up, get this ugly build out of here. Hey, Kenny, I need you to hear something. Hold on, Josh. Wait for it. So, so like we said, that car can go and leave, but we're going to get this on the lift, and over, or at least in a bay, so we can get this 460 out, get the 302 in, and then figure out what else we need to get it there to be able to get it running and driving, so we can beat them, because they ain't going to make it. I think we just needed a jump box. Jay got us hooked up, so let's see what we got this time. Battery engaged. Can't get to it. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. 
So I guess he said he's going to take it for a, uh, a shakedown drive. I think I'm going to call it a breakdown drive. They might cause more problems than they already have. Let's see if it'll be a burnout out here. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> that ain't good. Come on, baby. We got to go get the jump pack. <laughs> go get the jump box. All right. Let's go. <laughs> it happens. We have some work to do. All right. So cool, they can already go on a test drive, right? Well, we got our car, we'll pull that motor out, and it, but then we hid their toolboxes, so they're gonna come back on. Where's my toolbox? First gear. Jeez. Second. Does it stop? Seriously, does it stop? Oh, like stop. Hit. Yeah, I've already hit like, the brakes. Hey, out. Oh, no. Down. No, no. I want to know how far. I was hoping you'd hit, the, like, hit the, that. Is that okay? Yes. <laughs> I just want to make sure they lock up, dude. Oh yeah, hundred percent. All right. Purchase number one, new battery. Let's get this thing in the air. We know it runs, okay? Let's see what we're working with body chassis wise real quick. They don't even know what the motor has. Or if it's gonna even break down again. It's got an exhaust on it. Well, I, I overhear them talking about going through the fender. Do they forget they gotta sell the car afterwards? So it's got electric water pump on it, so we're gonna see if it works. Use it on our motor. So we got a uh, <laughs> less oil capacity. Yeah, yeah. We got a weight saving oil pan right here. Yeah. That's about a half a quart weight savings with the dents. Mm. Solid. Solid, very solid. solid. Uh, this oily area is for speed and aerodynamics. The air glides off the oil. Is that solid. What that is? Dude, look at these shocks. What look the at fuck these, are these tiny. Tiny exhaust pipes. Oh, those are going. Those are out of here. Those are gone. So I say before the old mellow yellow team over there goes and scavenges everything that they can. We should we got. Let's go. I would say, okay, in-house, what are we gonna have? Let's see if we got some headers laying around. Headers, carburetor maybe. That that carburetor is either too big or jetted wrong. Yeah, and I seen Dwayne messing underneath there with the freaking flow, so we could mess with that. Could have been that. Steering wheel has to go. That's not, we're not racing with that. I know I've seen some steering wheels around here somewhere. That's perfect, dude. It is. It's perfect. It's perfect. Let's drag it off of where they're at. They're in the back, so we got all the What do you want to bet that this is the motor they're going to use? That's somewhere in the back. Okay, let's go this way. Hopefully they don't try to steal hey, anything while we're here. gone. You go look for it. <laughs> see, this is that teamwork. I see, I see them trying to do, be all sneaky. What's going on, guys? Y'all started a war? Y'all started a war? No. Yeah. Started yeah. All right, so what do we got back here? We might use that later. Look, look, Kenny's a little late to the game. How you doing? What's up, dude? You're a little late to the game, ain't you? Ain't nothing good back here no more. This is the 302 that we're gonna use. 
No one's home. No rats in there. All right, babe. Let's get to that. There's another one somewhere, but this is already on a cart. Oh, and a transmission. And a transmission. Should we go clean it up first? Put it in the hot seat. Oh, sure, sure, sure. Uh, sure. So let's go clean Just it up. Like Well, Jason's ordering tires for both the teams and getting this lined out. Kind of under here looking around, trying to get a game plan together. And honestly, I think our car goes straight right now. It actually drives. Their car doesn't run. Our car runs. If we can just make our car run a little bit better and keep it driving down the street, then we win, right? So I think I'm going to bring it back down, get Jay to order some spark plugs, new wires, you know, just a little quick tune up. And let's make this thing run good first. And then we'll do, you know, some shots and shit like that. But as of right now, we're going to win. So before the end of the day, we just want to get everything ordered so we can get it right early the next day. Trying to figure out what we have here and what we actually need and what can we can delete so it can make it easier once we actually get this car train inside here. So we pulled that out of, is it that 68 Mustang? I believe it was a 68 Mustang. So we're going on a limb, hoping that this engine is, is okay and really healthy but it has shiny valve cover so it should be good it'll, it'll make it down there yeah yeah, yeah. hopefully yeah. second place is good everything looks pretty cleaned up but we know that we have some oil leaks on the bottom we do and you said something about the pan band in it the pan is smashed in when we do we want to just go ahead and yank this thing dude it's not like it's a whole lot i think we should reseal it'll it make it a whole lot easier changing those things don't have to fight with installing headers in this tiny ass car. Good point too. All right, let's do it. We don't know what any of this stuff is for, but we do have lights and turn signals that we have to hook up. But oh no, that's all there. We need bulbs. This is kind of why me and Kenny picked this one. It was more of a full blown race car, which is a lot easier to kind of put back on the street than. A blue one. So we might need a little something to go from the from the body to the motor to yeah, actually the connect mouth? the motor mount. <laughs> 302 in it as part of it has a C4 transmission. He said run open heads. Yeah, he did it, say open heads. He didn't say head er. Hey, my bad. Do you think he said head er? I heard, I heard heads. Well, I don't listen to him anyway, so I don't know what he said. <laughs> and hey, I want y'all to know he does not pick on me. You let he him. abuses me with his words. <laughs> we go way back. If he's not picking on me, that means he's, I'm in trouble. Well, you can't fit headers in here without doing custom headers, like long tube that go all the way down. So we might have to get stock manifolds. Unless we can figure out something to get these to work and have the exhaust go out a different way. But that's just a little dilemma at the moment. Other than the motor mounts, but we'll get it figured out. The plan today is to get this engine and transmission out of the car. Have Jay start dissecting and cleaning and upgrading all of the drivetrain and i'm gonna get on chassis and cage um, as much as we want to do this together we don't have enough time um, we're gonna have to divide and conquer on this if we stand any chance you know that's that's what's gonna be because honestly we we definitely chose the wrong car <laughs> it's like he said we got a lot to do so he, he he is gonna focus on two aspects safety and hopefully what reinforcing the front mount of the leaf springs because the leaf springs just this is a pinto there's no real subframe there's not even any reinforcements it just leaf springs to subfloor simple piece of sheet metal there's nothing there so he's going to tie the cage into the front part of the leaf springs back there once i get the trans and the engine out do just the maintenance reseal everything um and i think the two little things that i can do 
to put us above them. I'm gonna I'm gonna get a cam for the engine. Increase the lift, put more air in there. We can put more fuel in there. Creates more horsepower up to a certain point. It's a flat tappet engine. It's not a roller engine. Shh, don't so, be telling all our secrets out loud. Try to make this car competitive because this is definitely the inferior car from the beginning. Once we put these cars up on lifts and we took a look under what they had, they're like 18 steps ahead of us. Today we are gonna mount the motor, transmission, uh, line up, get one of these cut down or laid. This came with the car. This one came from back there. Uh, check the brakes, hooking up, everything up. This is for transmission mount, just so we could get something on there. Cause uh, the one that's in there right now is a little farther back than what we need. So just making a little bracket to move it forward, move it backwards. Yes. Our sick race transmission. This thing hold at least 150 horsepower, 200. We are refreshing this engine. This is junkyard build style 101, meaning check the compression, reseal the engine, make sure everything runs correctly, add, add budget power adders, make sure that we're in good shape. We're not in good shape. Nope. We got cool looking valve covers though. <laughs> All right. Sweet. Looking for the radiator that we had laying back here because that we don't know where it's at. So if I was gonna go look outside, I'm gonna keep doing what I'm doing. So we got the engine right. transmission out. Uh, Jay's rolling on it, so now I'm gonna get this interior pulled out of here so we can get rolling on this freaking cage, dude. We uh very limited time schedule with what Richard gave us and a whole lot to do. I know we can't stress it enough, we chose the wrong car. So what sucks is that we thought we had all this extra time, we were actually gonna put like, you know, kinda cool paint job on it, but further we get into this damn car, we're realizing that we have no time at all. We I had big faith in our competition until they started looking at their car. <laughs> We've got five days. Why are you talking to me there? You're over here disturbing me. I'm sitting over here. <laughs> get over to the banana. So we just got done doing the transmission mount. Motor mounts are done. It's all, the whole drive engine powertrain is done. Except for the drive Except for the drive shaft, which we need to get the measurements so we can go get a drive shaft made. And then it's a step closer to beating them, which they're far back behind. They're probably gonna have to push the car, unlike us. We're gonna go to Summit and look for stuff. Cool. Get credit card. You know, sitting here getting ready to start on this roll cage and I look over and the crickets over there, they're not even there. What are they doing, slacking off there? Bringing these bins just a little bit, but we're there. Yeah. So most of the time when you do a hoop, you try to get, you know, honestly kind of as far out as you can, you know, and keep your clearance. But I kind of want to keep these rear quarter panels and we want to put some interior, you know, finish out that back, back section. And it puts us right on the top of our leaf spring purchase too. So it'll be strong, it'll look good. summit get tires we wanted to find some headers that would work but nobody makes them for pinto and the, the problem we're having is right here that's where the mass cylinder goes so we either use stock manifolds which we have but we're really wanting to make something trickier than that as far as the competition we were way up even though this car looked rougher that one's like bad winds 
sea shit take down ships. We still have our complications. Again, we have to wire everything up, which is pretty simple. But the other complication is exhaust. We don't have much room for it, but we wanted to be able to look cool for the extra brownie points and sound good. So we're thinking about using the, the manifolds to do something, maybe going out the side somewhere without cutting into the fenders. I think they were a little too excited for the car that they picked. They didn't pick. Yeah, they did. Now they got to choose their partner. I got to choose the car. But they did say they were really excited about it. And yet we're still closer to because they already had to take their engine out. How big a turn can we make right there? It's called, it's called pie cuts. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And I can do that. What was I thinking? Hi guys. Now that we got the plates in, reinforce the floor a little bit. We're going to set the hoop of the cage, get it kind of tacked in place to where I can, you know, eyeball what I need to, pull some measurements, and then do our down bars for the rear. We know where they need to end up. What direction I'm gonna take them to get them there, I don't know yet, so let's get rolling. So we're trying to figure out what was wrong with the ignition switch, yet we forgot there was a battery code switch. <laughs> so we- Right here. I made progress on the cage. Uh, we got a hoop in. Next is gonna be just some down bars and door bars. So uh, I hate to say it's all coming together because I know that'll jinx it, but it's all coming together, you know. But yeah. now it's not coming together. Another day to work on this beautiful yellow thing. We're gonna be working on exhaust or figuring out what we wanna do for exhaust. A little sneak peek, we got a little something something that we found laying around. Now we're gonna make it work, make it have it stick out a little bit more. Uh, Phipps is gonna try to work on brakes if we can get the wheel cylinders in today. We're not too far away from getting it started and running unlike the other team. The oil pan, even though we're gonna cut it and fab it, we're in a shop environment. I don't know where this pan was fabbed, but um, it's leaking, it's got Bondo on it, it's rubbing in places, and just gonna try to refine it a little bit with a new oil pan where we're not leaking out oil on the track if we make a pass. And I say if we make a pass, because we're still not sure. Hope for the best. Okay, so now that we got the new down tubes fit in, um, we know where they're gonna land, so now I'm gonna do like I did here, put plates in the floor, reinforce it, and uh, once I get those in, finish welding it up, man. We're doing good. We're moving along pretty good. Uh, we're not arguing, going back and forth. We have a plan. We don't know what that plan is, but we have a plan to beat them. But no, we're going good. It's wide. It's gonna grip up real good. That's good, man. Obviously, I hope we find seats for this before then. But uh, if not, we fit, right? We're pretty close to the, the cage in the back, which is great. Protects our hand. And then now, I threw the seat back in here. And I'm like, well, how's that going to Because I need to take and make a door bar. Just a little bit more safety, you know, measures. Uh, Whatever we can do in these little freaking things to not be a death trap is better. Boy, that's what I'm talking about. Trying to figure out what we're gonna do for the fuel pump. We have a fuel pump on the tank that's an electric one, but it's probably a little too much for the carburetor that is going in this right now. Uh, so we're still debating on if you wanna use the stock fuel pump on the motor or just use that one and figure out where to put this regulator. Then we could actually figure out wiring and then we have to figure out the shifter on the inside, neutral safety switch, just a little bit of safety stuff. But other than that, I'm pretty close to getting it running. We're gonna pull the valve covers off of this engine, kind of give them a refresh. They're a little stained, they were raw. Uh, they're made by, I believe there was a sticker on the car called Anson. They're like a retro valve cover. And as retro as yellow is, we're gonna try to just leave it raw aluminum for 
dress up safe. Finally got the cage all tied up. Man, we really gotta get on that motor. We haven't made a lot of progress on that department. I think it's time to go tag team that and get that thing in here because without our engine, we ain't going nowhere. So, day four, a lot of things actually we got done. Uh, big thing, we got the engine transmission in there, all bolted up, got brakes, got master, we got power, we got batteries in there. One of the main things left is exhaust, but that would be towards the end once we have everything mocked up where we want it to be. The biggest thing is trying to get all the wiring done so we can get this thing running. Could have it fired up by the end of the day, or maybe lunchtime. So we have these figured out what they're for. These ones actually go to places that we know where they're at. This right here, don't know what it really does. We know it, it helps for line lock. We know it's some line lock stuff, but that's only two wires. We don't know what the other ones are doing, but we're gonna figure it out. Not that big of a deal. Me and Jay just got the engine in. Uh, next step is just kind of figure out what's needed and what's not needed under this hood. I mean, it's a fucking spaghetti bowl of wires. Once Jay gets the new brake hubs and wheel bearings on, he can roll it on the lift, get in the air, stab the transmission in, drive shaft, and hopefully drive this thing. We'll see, fingers crossed. So we're a few moments away from getting this thing started and running. Uh, got a few more things to button up, but we're really close. We're doing good progress. We got, I feel like we got everything done in a timely matter. Okay, put your exhaust on. We're gonna rip it up one. Okay, you wanna do it again, huh? All right, so next step, we're gonna throw the transmission up here and mock it in place to see how much, well, I shouldn't say how much, I'd say how little room we have for this exhaust to come out. And uh, just kind of set it up in there, see where we got clearance, where we don't, and then bring it back down, build some exhaust real quick. And then, dude, we're fucking done. We're about ready to drive this thing once we do that, so. The light is at the end of the tunnel. Uh, let's leave this up here. Let's go grab some random pieces of pop. I know that there's some pre-bent shit back there like that somebody else has already done. If that can save us some time and we can just chop a chunk out, 100%. then let's do it. Let's All do right. it. Let's go find some pop. So we pretty much got everything buttoned up. Engine is running, but we don't have drive shaft just yet. So we're waiting on drive shaft. Once we get the drive shaft, we'll pretty much be set. The only two things that we have left is we got some gauges on the way so we can know the temperature, oil pressure, and voltage of the car. Uh, wire that in and then figure out what we're doing for exhaust. It's gonna be a lot of pie cuts, a lot of welding. Should be fun. I am going to use a hole saw initially. We don't have quite the right size hole saw to make the perfect cut for this, but I'm gonna use that and then deburr it evenly all the way around so this slips in nice and smooth so that we have a nice aluminum bent gauge surface for our gauges. You like it? I do. We've had to reduce on reduce on reduce. Do you want to cut these slant to give it a bigger effect or no? Yeah, I mean, let's get it all out there. Let's polish it up. Let's tack everything in and then okay, we'll see what it looks like. Because okay. sometimes in big flat, like flat outlets kind of look cool. Yeah. So let's see what we got. All right, so into day four, man, we made up a lot of ground today. Uh, we've got wheels, tires mounted. We got the engine in. We got brakes done. We have exhaust done. Um, the only thing we're lacking is throwing this last pop in, put the transmission in, throw a drive shaft, and honestly, we're back to a running and driving car. So I say, let's knock those things out and go home, dude. Big dumb pipe. Pretty sure we got everything tightened up. Uh, tidied everything underneath the car as much as possible. So what we're gonna do now is lower it, throw fluids in there, and see if this thing will bust back off. I gotta make some 
pie cuts to be able to do like a, a 180 so we can get it to come back to the back. Should be getting that done today. Just this and drive shaft and gauges and we're done. Turn it back on. Start it. Turn it back on. Man, they had to go start the car after they started ours, didn't they? Man, I'm honestly, I'm pretty happy. Uh, we got a car, it starts. Don't know if it drives yet. We ain't set on the ground and put it in gear, but it did before we tore it apart, so it should go. Freshened up, you know, the engine, and it busts off. It revs really good. It sounds great before it would, you know, die off and shit. So, fingers crossed this thing's gonna run good. Uh, we got a few more things we're gonna tie up, put a radiator on it, and stuff like that, and then probably gonna do a little test drive, just see how it is. Not expecting a whole lot, but fingers crossed it's better than what it was before. Good. We have a drive shaft. But, uh, so we're down to a seat and exhaust? Yep. And you can grill. see. You gotta put the grill back in. I mean, that's all part of the, putting the whole front end back together. Uh, yeah, that'll take two minutes. So I think my next step is gonna be to recreate this for the other side. That way, once I get a move on where the placement is, I just have to transfer it over to the other side and figure out where it's gonna be. That way I don't have to be going one side, then the other side. Just have both sides ready to go. This is what, uh, day 57, something like that? 0.25. Yeah. Uh, day five. Ended it off. We got a running car. Um, it goes in forward and reverse. So, I mean, kind of success. Uh, we did at the end of the day discover a, a pretty bad leak. Jay got it handled. Um, got all the coolant back in the car. We're not going to start it until in the morning. And, uh, Hopefully that leak is fixed. You pretty confident? Yeah. Yeah, except for the cheese whiz gas can make it <laughs> Not sure about that. Caught Jay over there trying to eat the, the you know, the boogie on the gas. It looked like cheese whiz. I've never seen RTV that looked like cheese whiz. I think it's time to go home. It is. Let's go. Home. We got kind of like a boat sound right now. That blue, 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 blue. Seeing how short our little like skirt blower exhaust is, they kind of wobble and move. So I'm gonna add a mid pop, H pop, whatever you wanna call it. Um, it's gonna give us more stability on the exhaust and it's gonna give it a lot smoother, better sound. Cause right now, yeah, it just sounds like a freaking boat. What we got here this morning, Kenny uh, finished his welding, doing some cosmetics to his welding. <laughs> oh, what? and then now we got water, oil, trans fluid, uh, let it down, back it up, warm it up, check for leaks, you know, just the usual checklist after you do something like this. What we're gonna do is uh, get this car on the ground, get it rolled back, uh, and take it for a test drive. I uh, think we might have a problem with our side sweepers. <laughs> Question is, did we just leave them? Self-clearance, baby. Oh, yeah. I mean, it is a shit box. I that's don't know, dude. That's what we're going for, so.
clearancing issues. It drove great, but we had a slight grinding sound. I'm not sure where it's coming from yet, but we're gonna get out and probably find it right under him or under you, I think. Um, I'm pretty sure it's exhaust. <laughs> so we need to cut here. Hi, roll, cut. This, roll this up, weld it. I'm thinking Jay found these tips and I think that we can use these bad boys and have a little bit more clearance. For so from what I'm hearing, I guess we're running out of fuel. Either one of the lines is a little kinked or there's just not enough fuel in the tank, which it, it could be either or. Uh, it's not too much to worry about. It's fueling. If anything, a new fuel pump won't take much longer. Something, something's up with the fuel. You think that's what it is? Yes. We took it for a little around the block. We were having some fueling problems. Uh, we were thinking that it was just the fuel pump. Then we started looking into it and it might be the might have been the bad carb or something was just dirty, stuck or something. So we decided to just go to the back. He did say we could use whatever we had to shop. And we found this laying in the back. So we don't know the health of this carb, but we're hoping it should be fine or more than enough fuel. Mm -hmm. So we can do nah, can't some burnouts. This way. But other than that, everything's working good. The only thing we were having was yeah, that be down fueling here. problem. Last day was a win. Everything that we had problems with ended up smoothing out. Uh, our car runs, it drives. We need a little bit of test and tune to you know tune the carburetor up, maybe adjust some timing. But man, I'm pretty confident in our little beater. I don't know about you, but oh, and we got new pops. Style change. Pops, we decided yeah. to add a little bit of uh, 80s feel to our 80s car. But other than that, man, it's Friday. It's go time. Okay, bud. That's it. It's done. Uh, we've got a race car-ish with lights. It's, oh, we gotta do a horn. No, we do. Uh, that's the last thing we gotta do, the horn. Finish the header wrap. Oh, yeah, yeah. But we need to let it cool down oh, after yeah, yeah. all them hot laps we just did. It was fun. <laughs> <laughs> Greetings everyone. So while I'm in Costa Rica, I've been watching all of my security cameras, keeping up with the guys at the shop and making sure that they're doing what they're supposed to with the Pintas. Now I've seen some cool stuff and I've seen some really stupid stuff. I'm not going to tell you what I've really analyzed while watching from my phone when I should have been vacationing, but I can tell you this much. One team is definitely in the lead, but is not going to necessarily win. So we're going to have to wait and see what happens. And I've got a couple more days here looking at birds and trees and lizards and sloths and frogs. Should be a good time. Oh, wait a second. I think I hear the mysterious animal. It's called the bar. It's going to be really bad when our hoopty demolishes your pretty yeah. little car. Yeah. Hey, but guess what? It's still really? pretty. We're going you know? and, we, and we got a bigger fuel tank. <laughs> it's true. What's that matter with the jack shit? So the Battle of the Pintos turned out cool, way cool, both of them. Uh, we're just sitting here waiting for Richard to come in, see what he thinks about them. Uh, he's gonna like them. Yeah, but he's, he's, he's on his way back from uh, vacation, his birthday week vacation. Hey, hold on, guy. Should I be doing this? Hey. I shouldn't be doing it. Hey, I just got a text from him. Oh, what does it say? Uh, it says, hey guys, been watching y'all all week. Oh, on no. my little peanut camera. I didn't even see him put one up. Did y'all? No. I gotta yeah. say, y'all done a really great job getting these ready to race. Hmm. Huh. Well, that's nice. That's perfect. Huh. Sweet. See, so we're good. We're so going. Are... So we're along that flight. <laughs> How many drinks has he uh, had? Hold on. So positive. Speaking of drinks, I just got another message. Oh, no. After four or five vodkas, I finally figured out the judging criteria for uh -huh. the Battle of the Pintos. Oh, so things are about to change, they like. Roll number one. Oh, he, he doesn't even see. <laughs> <laughs>
Eighth mile drag race, best two out of three. Jesus, can we make two, can we make three races? Can you make it there? <laughs> hey, not in the same time as you, but. We might have to refuel three so, times. Hey. It looks like we have more rules. X Factor style points decided by yours truly. Hmm. Okay. That? So, that's, I mean. That's scary. Yeah. And then number three, fan choice. Y'all's Pintos will be voted on live at Tacos and Tires next Saturday, yeah. April 15th. Oh, yeah. We have to show these cars. Jesus. Man, we gonna win. Ours oh, looks pretty. It's a drag Ours car versus a rat ride, bro. I don't know. Well, when hold we on. Get, as many people showed up last time, who knows? It could go both ways. Dude. Well, you I was kind of nervous. Cars out there. I was kind of nervous until he just sent this one. I decided to extend my trip a couple of days. You have three extra days to get these stylized as possible. I want to see some real eye appealing changes. Good luck and get it done. So, well, what do you guys think? I mean, we got three extra days. We could definitely do something. <laughs> I mean, I know we could change a lot. Y'all, on the other hand. He said eye appealing stuff. Yeah. That's not much to do on that car. Dude. It's already <laughs> nice. Or well, for what it is. I think so. there's some branding that needs to be done. For sure. Yeah. Well. And uh, I think we, we can enhance our attitude. If we got three extra days, then I say we take full advantage of this shit and get it rolling. All right, so we got, you know, blessed with three extra days and we are going to get to work. Um, we're going to do what we can and make these Pintos badass as they can be because they're still a Pinto, but... I don't know. We'll see what we can do. Pentos are fun.